Well, yeah, the packaging says that they can withstand extreme cold and extreme heat. So I'm going to freeze this one now and then I'll uh, let you know a little bit later how it goes. <laughs> Advances in technology never cease to amaze me. Modern mirrorless cameras are now shooting higher speeds, higher resolutions, and raw video as a baseline. So surprise and astonishment are two words that I never associate with any of these cameras' data rates and subsequent file sizes. Luckily, the introduction of CF Express Type B camera media has meant offload times over the last couple of years have been somewhat manageable. But if there's a place on set where I can save more time, it's here. That's why every time I hear Angelbird has newer, faster, more stable cards, I don't hesitate, I just buy them. But with these new AV Pro SE CF Express B version 4 cards, what's important to know is they only come in the SE range. There's no more SX or XTs, and that's because they're all going to PCI Gen 4 times 2 cards, meaning all variations have the same max read speeds, setting a new benchmark for stable performance and reliability in the camera media market. The stupidly fast write speeds do vary a little, but they still work outperforming every compatible camera except the 16K Ursa Immersive with its whopping max data rate of 5,337 megabytes per second from two 8K sensors, which only the Blackmagic 8 and 16 terabyte media modules can handle. You could possibly strike two of these to cover the data rate with Blackmagic Design's recently announced CF Express Type B Media Caddy for the new lower priced Ursa Cine line but that will need to be tested, so tune in for that. For now, for us mere mortals, these 512, 1, 2 or 4 terabyte cards are the fastest, most reliable and best covered cards we can buy today. And despite which one you buy, they all cover 12K 60p and all provide the same blazing fast offload experience. Yet surprisingly, the increased read, write and sustain speeds won't cost you more per gigabyte. A quick comparison may make these standard edition cards look like they have risen in price, but they should actually be compared against Angelbird's older, faster XT line that was selling for around $1.40 per gigabyte, opposed to these new SE cards at $0.30 cents per gigabyte. That's a $1.10 savings per gigabyte with a massive speed increase. That's pretty unbeatable value. The most important thing when buying new gear is that it performs as advertised. As always, the Angelbird cards have easily passed our codec and durability stress tests, with none of them failing this or our other physical torture tests. It's clear that these cards have been manufactured to the highest standards and are far more advanced than where camera technology is today. But for the next test, what's important to remember is that these cards are designed specifically for in-camera use, not computers, and that the way that cameras and computers read and write data happens in very different ways. So on paper, these cards are almost as fast as my M1 Mac Mini system disc and my external MVE editing blade and are most certainly faster than my external Thunderbolt spitting disc raids. After testing three generations of Angelbird cards and readers, here's what I can definitively say. It's apparent that this combo is going to dramatically outlast my current computing setup. That's because they're faster than my overall system and I now have a bottleneck. The second takeaway is Angelbird's combination of hardware, software and stable stream technology is working wonders under the hood to maximise the highest sustained data rate possible for the current pipeline that I have and it will only get faster when I upgrade my current Mac.
The surprising part of my test came when comparing the different models of generations of cards and readers, as suddenly my offloads were twice as fast at 11 minutes compared to 21 per terabyte. For example, the old Gen 1 and Gen 2 cards and readers managed an average sustained transfer speed of 880 megabytes per second, which years on, after a lot of terabytes written, is still really good, and that speaks to the quality and durability of Angelbird's memory modules. But my new PKT card reader with this new SE card just crushed the older versions, sustaining transfer speeds of 1.5 gig per second. We are just talking about two different leagues here. I'm now saving around 40 minutes per four terabyte download. That means every 252 downloads, I will have gained one week of my life back from work. That's 168 hours to spend with loved ones. And for me, that's priceless. So the future with these cards looks very bright and with the industry's adoption of Thunderbolt 5, who knows how much more time we could save with these cards. Now in the past, a lot of you have emailed me asking this question. So yes, this combo is literally fast enough to edit from. Recently with smaller, faster turnaround projects, because these cards are so reliable, I've been able to shoot raw, transcode to 4K ProRes, cut, get approval, export, and upload the project direct from the card. In fact, this entire episode has been crafted in this exact fashion that you are watching right now. But if you are going to work this way, first buy the larger variants of the camera media so they are under less memory pressure. And remember to turn on this LED right protect switch to secure the integrity of the card data until whatever you're doing is complete. Then you don't have to worry about someone accidentally erasing, overwriting, or damaging your critical files or losing a client project. Some of you may think this is risky, but I've been using Angelbird cards for a very long time. I have more than 50 of their cards in different flavors, and I always make sure that I register my cards for warranty and data recovery purposes. And the only time I've had an issue, they acted swiftly to rectify it and no data was lost. Look, my big takeaway is I simply don't know how Angelbird is making cards of this quality that run at these insanely fast speeds in these sizes at this affordability. It just boggles my mind. And with every major camera manufacturer adopting this media platform now as the standard, I don't have to worry about compatibility now or into the future or breaking the bank to save myself more time on set. With that, guys, see you in the next one. Tag your friends, like and subscribe, comment below if I make this follow.